What's up, my name's Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through the first steps that you should follow when you're installing and setting up an Ubuntu server. I'll be showing you how to set up different user accounts so you won't be working under root the whole time and securing your server. So to begin, you'll need to SSH into your server or otherwise get access to the command line. Over here, I've got a PowerShell window that's SSH into my server using SSH space root at followed by the IP address, then entering your password. You should then be dropped into the main menu here, simple as that. Let's start by adding a user that we'll use as our main user. Add a user and I'll give it the name Techno. Then we need to enter a password for this user and once more, and I'll skip through all of this information here as it's just me using it, then yes. Now we'll give our new account administrator privileges. So user mod space TAC A capital G pseudo followed by your username in my case Techno. And if you'd like, now is the time that you could set up UFW or any other kind of firewall. You can check if UFW is installed by typing UFW or UFW status and you'll see whether it's running or not. By default this should come built in as it's a pretty useful firewall tool. So to start with I'll use UFW allow space open SSH exactly as this and I'll hit enter to allow SSH through so we don't soft lock ourselves out of the server with a firewall. Then UFW enable and our firewall should start up after we hit yes. Now you may be disconnected and need to reconnect. Don't worry you can do that now. Now running UFW status you can see that we have open SSH allowed and that's pretty much it. So we can type in SU followed by our username to swap the user and now we're dropped into Techno. We can SU with nothing after it and enter our root password to get back to the root account or SU space root. Pasting in the password, we're now back into the root account over here. With that, we've now set up the first few steps of setting up our server. If you'd like to learn how to enable SSH key authentication instead of using passwords, which is much more secure, you can check the description down below for the next video in this series. At this point, you should also be able to connect to your server, say by opening up a new SSH terminal, SSH username at followed by your server's IP, hitting enter, will be prompted to enter the password. And when we do, we'll be connected to our server just like that. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.